Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to take a 12 volt fan from a desktop or a desktop power supply and turn it into something useful for a 3D printer, so stay tuned. Hey, hey guys, this is TechX, and I've been having this problem where the circuit board back here overheats, and it's it's heating up because these heat sinks back here aren't they they're not sufficient for the power load that's coming from coming from the power supply. So what what we need to do is we need to be able to cool that down. So a lot of people are like just just say why don't we install these MOSFETs on here? That's a great idea. I personally have installed. I have one for the hot end and one for the hot the hot bed. Um, both don't seem to be working too well. So what we need to do is basically you can take a 12 volt fan, uh, DC brushless fan, and put it in and that's what I'm going to show you. So first things first, um, for me in order to be able to work on this back panel back here I I want to be able to move the, the hot end here and move it into like the top right hand corner. So to do that all you have to do is you hit the center button to go to the go to the menu go down to the position. There's other ways to access this, but this is the quickest. Um, you can go to X position fast or Z position fast, whatever, and basically you want to try to get it as far as, um, as far to as far to the top, top uh, right as you're willing to go. Okay, so this is basically where I have it now. I've got the the um, hot ends uh, up about here. It's not all the way to the top right, but it is um, far enough away that I can access this area, this side panel here, the circuit board. Uh, basically, you want to make sure you d definitely make sure you turn off the the whole printer so that you don't get like electrocuted. Even though it's only like 12 volts going through, you don't want to short anything in there either. Okay, so I got this fan right here. If you want to take a look at the specifications, there you go. Um, but this is again a 12 volt, 12 volt DC brushless fan. The wires don't need to be too long. You can, if you want, like add a switch or something to it, like just solder something like this up to it so you can turn it on and off. But um, most of the times I like to just have it on because if I'm doing long prints or hot prints, it's great to have it. But just take the two wires, make sure you tin, the, tin both wires, and we're actually going to be plugging it into the power in which is the topmost green box here and I'll show you all this in a second a little bit up closer but I 3d printed this this holder for it uh, this is a 25 millimeter thickness fan um, and so um, you can go in and adjust it change it yourself but I'll have this linked in the description this is just a simple holder that I can slide on and off pretty easily um, and it works works really well for holding the fan on there uh, again, I don't need to have anything like super strong so that way if it's like Getting in my way for demos or something like that. I can take it off So for these top two you want to take a screwdriver or something like this and actually just stick the Very simple process just stick the red wire into the red socket up here And then the black wire into the black make sure you don't have them sticking out like this much right now They're kind of loose in there. So just make sure you Again, keep everything the positive and negative separated so that you don't short and kill the board. Um, so I'm going to wire this up and then I'll show you how to install the 3D printer piece. So basically all you got to do, um, just once you have that wired up, make sure it's it's a secure connection. And uh, this, this is a pretty simple part here. Just put a little bit of hot glue or super glue, whatever you want to use, right in there. Um, that way it holds on to it a little bit better. And then it'll clip on right to the side and you might want to shift this around a little bit to see what what will work best for you and this part here this little clip here actually goes right onto the acrylic it just slides right on there and actually it'll it's a fairly snug fit but you may need to add some glue depending upon if you like I have this MOSFET that it's kinda of leaning on which is on some like Gorilla Tape so you should be fine if you have a situation like that you can create other mounts, but I found this is the easiest. That way you can just slide it on and off. This just slips up in there. And then, I know it's not the best mounting system, but 
for something that's not taking a lot of weight or anything this actually cools down the circuit board by a huge huge amount like uh, it, it, it was crazy how much it also should co cool down the MOSFET as well so whichever one is drawing more power it'll this this draws pulls off a lot of heat so it's very nice it's uh, super effective for my tests and um, if you guys have any other suggestions on how to make this better or how to adjust this or anything at all feel free to let me know in the comments below um, I always am super excited to have feedback and thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this helped you have a great rest of your day